Welcome to the last episode of Hockey Night in the Valley for 2013. I'm here with Jeff Seelman and we thought we'd have a quick discussion tonight about uh, all the different things that we've done throughout this season on, uh, on Hockey Night in the Valley. Yeah, it's uh, been a lot of fun, Mark, and, uh, and I appreciate you uh, coming out and helping us out after our first episode. That was uh, really good, and uh, the, the episodes that you've done since then have uh, really turned out very well on our, on our uh, website. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about how the uh, Hockey Night in the Valley program got started? Well, we have a Pride and Culture Committee, uh, Mark, and uh, we got together and we thought we wanted to do something to bring our community together in Bow Valley. And we thought, how can we do that, be effective, and, and not put it out in a newsletter type thing, as, as we do have a lot of newsletters. So we decided that we'd come up with a show. And um, so uh, with the show, it, it brings awareness to our community. Um, it also, outside of our own hockey teams, because we all get involved with our own hockey teams and such, it also brings a lot of awareness to all the programs that are going on in, in Bow Valley as well, because we have a lot of uh, different things that are going on regular, other than regular practices and games, Mark. And uh, all of that brought in together really helps these um, families that are new to Bow Valley and, and, and that have been in Bow Valley for a long time. Um, an, a sense of uh, community and a sense of being together as a Bow Valley family. And I know that we just started out with a brand new program this year called the Mentor Program and, and you were involved with that in the very beginning because we did the first episode. How, how did that go for you Mark? Actually it went really well. Uh, the Mentor Buddy Program uh, gave an opportunity for uh, players at the older level to take responsibility and, and be involved in the development of the different players at the different age groups. Uh, so there was a definitely uh, a plus and a benefit to that for uh, for the older players as well as the younger players who now have the ability to have somebody that they look up to and develop their hockey skills even further. So so that's definitely fantastic. Yeah, that was a, it was a really uh, nice going out there and, and doing the videotape of your team uh, mentoring the uh, novice team and. I, I think they had a lot of fun, and, and it was uh, it was exciting day. It, that well, definitely was. We uh, we also did a uh, hockey night uh, game with them as well one night where we went and our players took responsibility for making sure they were dressed and we tied all their skates and gave them a quick rah rah speech before we went into the uh, before they went out on the ice and and our manager took something in the neighborhood of like 180 pictures of the kids during their game and. And uh, the message you received back from the parents on the other team was uh, was phenomenal, and and our boys as well couldn't wait to participate in the next event. Um, so, in that sense, that it was definitely a very big positive for our team as well as our buddy team. Well, good that they had fun with it. I, I know that we did a, a big league experience. Uh, you can check out our uh, YouTube channel, uh, Bow Valley, and and. You saw that big uh, league experience where our Adam team uh, did that surprise for, for the, for the Pee Wee team. I think that was great where they brought in the nameplates, the jerseys, did the whole water bottle thing, the whole uh, experience, and, and did the, uh, the crowd uh, during the game. It, w it looked like a lot of fun. For sure. Uh, the video sure was a lot of fun to watch, too, uh, just to see the boys out there on the ice and experiencing that... Uh, that aspect of what they might not get a chance to do the rest of their lives, uh, where it really becomes a big part of the game and a real big part of their experience. And 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 again, taking that to the next level and 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 seeing it outside the practice and outside the game, um, we did the um, <clears throat> excuse me hockey uh, hockey day in in Canada. Um, you were involved with that as well, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, we did a hockey day in Canada event, and this year our first uh, our first shot at a uh, an outdoor hockey game, uh, and we'll certainly look at doing it again next year. But it was uh, quite a good day where we had uh, our Pee Wee and Adam teams out, and uh, they basically participated in a, uh, a pond hockey type game of uh, four on four. And uh, you know, all the parents were there at the same time, and they came out and enjoyed themselves. And we did some uh, some chatting, and I'm sure that uh, most of you will check out the uh, video that was uh, was shot from that event as well. Uh, so definitely a great day. Uh, Hockey Day in Canada is a big part of uh, being Canadian and being part of uh, what's going on in, in our environment in such a great uh, month of February. Now, going, going, uh, we're in the playoffs right now with a lot of teams. 
Um, let's maybe take a step back and, and, and go back to SO Hockey Week because I want to talk about that a little bit because we saw a lot of good results this year, 2013, from SO Hockey Week. And um, I think we had eight teams that won the championship this year. Yep, eight teams. And uh, if I remember correctly, we had something in the neighborhood of about uh, 12 or 13 that actually made the finals. Oh, wow. And uh, I think that was definitely a step up from last year, was it not? Uh, my understanding is it is an increase from last year. Do you think that is uh, because of our commitment to doing a lot more um, clinics and a lot more uh, things with our players um, this year and, and, and moving forward? I think development has a part, uh, part to do with it uh, in terms of, uh, uh, of working on the skill sets and working on the, uh, the direction of hockey itself. But I think another part of it as well that probably doesn't get enough credit is the ability for our members and association to know what's going on and actually be available to support. Uh, I know the one final that I did attend, uh, the stands were absolutely packed and anybody will tell you they love playing for a big crowd so I think that has something to do with it as well. So kudos to those people that are going out and supporting other Bow Valley teams even though they're not in that game. Yeah, there's something to be said about having a big crowd and having that experience of a lot of people cheering and, 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 and that follow through and, and feeling that those people in that stands going crazy for you. It's, oh. it's exciting. It's, yeah, you get jacked. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. I, I know when we did your team, it was really a lot of fun because we had a lot of people and, and the boys really liked it because they knew that they were being involved in, in the show. And it really showed on the score sheet because they came out in, in spades. They definitely did. I, I think um, <clears throat> my experience in it has uh, definitely shown me a lot uh, with regards to um, the time and the commitment that these uh, coaches, uh, team managers, uh, even the parents put in to, to hockey and, and any as association. Um, Bow Valley's done a good job with that. and, and um, Having those coaches mentor those young gentlemen, those young kids and, and ladies that, that are in our association, and, and feeling that gelness that between those, those kids. It, it's amazing how the first day of the season and, and everybody doesn't really know each other, and then at the end of the season, it's like they're like family and, and, and they protect one another and, and, and stuff out on the ice. It does become more than, about, uh, more than just about hockey. That's, uh, that's for sure, and, and you certainly see it develop along, and it, it tends to hit in around the December area that uh, you start to see that, uh, that gel and that true team uh, thing develop. And then you get kids that have uh, continued to play on the same teams with the same players, which is also nice as well. So, yeah, I certainly see the, uh, the advantage to that part in what you're talking about. The volunteer part that you're talking about, uh, I mean, I can certainly speak to that. Uh, it is a lot of hours, and it is a lot of commitment. Um, and as you guys might be aware, uh, we did a volunteer portion for the gentlemen to take care of the ice outdoors, uh, something that I've never personally been involved in, but I can certainly see uh, the amount of time, effort, and energy to uh, get up in the middle of the night and actually take care of the rink so that the, the boys and girls have somewhere to go out and skate uh, during the daytime. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that, that that commitment that these uh, gentlemen uh, do to our outdoor rink and, and all these other... Uh, committees that we do have in Bow Valley, um, I would say just go out and, and volunteer and, and learn the experience and, and get to know some of these people. That would be great. Uh, so Jeff, why don't you talk a little bit about the Hockey Night in the Valley program and some of the, uh, some of the aspects of this year. Well, um, as, as we spoke, uh, Mark, we, uh, this is our first year doing the Hockey Night in the Valley program. And um, a lot of trial and tribulation. Uh, we, we, we did a lot of uh, uh, different lighting, different spots that we could uh, do the shots. Um, and we have about uh, seven episodes uh, on, on, the, on the website. So um, we have, uh, we've done a couple of different games. We did, uh, as we talked, we did the uh, Hockey Day in Canada. Um, there should be uh, uh, our President's message on there and also uh, a couple of other uh, items that we have done. And um, I think that uh, moving forward into uh, next year, we, we should have a lot more on the go. Um, 
you being involved with next year, what do you feel is, is, is going to be our focus next year? Well, one of the things you talked about was the president's message, and uh, yeah, it was great. We did that uh, episode and it gave uh, Bill an opportunity to discuss with the members what was actually going on and, and what the future holds for the association. And one of the things I know we're going to be touching on next year is possibly a couple, three different messages from the president uh, in terms of seasonal spacings to talk about different things. Um, another topic we're looking at is uh, the ability to do a, uh, a uh, speaker's corner, if you will where we'll set up at the rink a couple, three times throughout the year and, and give our members the opportunity to, to grab the mic and talk about what's on their mind in terms of the game and the association and, and different ideas they might have. Because the more people you get involved, the better off you are. Uh, the other thing that uh, we want to make sure of, and the entire message for this whole thing is making sure that we're developing strong, uh, committed uh, community members. And that's what the goal of this is. The goal of the whole program is to show uh, all our members, what type of people and type of members we actually have. So definitely a real big positive on that. Uh, and who knows, maybe the Outdoor Classic, for example, becomes uh, an event with a with an actual tournament out on the lake uh, or something on those lines. There's, there's certainly going to be a lot of different exciting things. Um, and all I can hope for the program is that it continues to develop uh, for different players and for parents so that the game itself remains as strong as it is. Uh, it, in order for the game to remain part of Canadian culture and history, you need to have people to carry it on. And that's what I hope this, this sort of series helps to, uh, to develop within our membership. Yeah, it's nice to have that awareness. And, and, and even if you can give five minutes or ten minutes, wherever it is, right, Mark? Uh, yep. in, in volunteering, if, uh, like you said, if we do the Outdoor Classic again, getting involved with that and, and just giving some time back to, to those players, back to the community, um, I think, like you said, it'll, it'll grow those programs and, and make them uh, so much more vibrant and, and it'll show the southeast of Calgary how, how great of uh, association we have. For sure. You have to start somewhere, right? right. Even if it's just a question, if you can volunteer to, to uh, hand out hot chocolate, right, then great. Then everything helps and uh, people should uh, certainly be aware that their ability to volunteer sends the right message to their own kids that are playing the game. And that's really what we want to make sure we're doing, is supporting the message that the kids get from their coaches. Yeah. Well, Jeff, that uh, was a heck of a season. Had a good time. Uh, there was a lot of events and things that we put together, and I'm certainly looking forward to next year. Uh, continuing on with this, uh, hopefully become a historic and uh, uh, part of our tradition for uh, Bull Valley. It'll be a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, thanks to you again, Mark, and uh, as Red Green always says, keep your stick on the ice. Good night.